As the term implies, subacromial injections are injections performed under the acromion process of the shoulder. These injections are generally performed for pain relief from subacromial impingement syndrome, rotator cuff tendonitis, especially supraspinatus tendonitis, subacromial bursitis, and for aspiration of the subacromial bursa. There are a few key landmarks when injecting the shoulder. Locate the spine of the scapula. This becomes the acromion process laterally. Identify the posterior corner and the anterior corner of the acromion. Palpate the posterior border of the acromion. Posterior subacromial injections are done through the soft spot just beneath this area, whereas lateral injections are done under the posterior third of the lateral border of the acromion. For the lateral approach to subacromial injections, identify the lateral border of the acromion between the posterior and anterior corners. Palpate the space under the posterior third and mark a spot about 2 cm below the acromion in this space. The most common mistake is going too high, in which case you will bounce the underside of the acromion. Avoid the midpoint, as this is the narrowest area because of convexity of the humeral head. And you are more likely to cause tissue injury going at the midpoint. As always, injections should be done using sterile technique. Scrub the site and clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and isopropyl alcohol. Alternatively, you can use providing solution followed by alcohol. Local anesthetic can be infiltrated into the skin and subcutaneous tissue using a 25 gauge needle but experienced clinicians may choose to forego this. If you anticipate difficulty, then you should definitely use local anesthetic first. Here I have a mixture of 60 mg of Depometrol mixed with 2% xylocaine to a total volume of 5 ml, and I am using a 22 gauge, 1.5 inch needle with the bevel facing upwards. Advance the needle through your mark aiming medially, anteriorly, and slightly superiorly toward the underside of the midpoint of the acromion to a depth of about 3 to 4 centimeters. Always aspirate to ensure you're not in a blood vessel. Then inject the solution. This should go in freely. If there is any resistance, then withdraw and adjust the needle to avoid injecting into a tendon, causing partial or complete tear. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage.